we still know the least about Mercury, despite it being the planet nearest to the Sun. It appears from recent findings that the Earth is more dynamic and complicated than previously believed. Mercury defies everything we know about it, from dwindling vistas to enigmatic blue troughs. Only a few missions have attempted to explore this enigmatic realm, and those that have only managed to uncover a few of its mysteries. In order to solve riddles that have baffled scientists for decades, a new Mission Bay Columbia is on its way. Mercury may be significantly more fascinating than we previously realized. According to observations of odd features, surprising occurrences, and undiscovered secrets like X-ray auroras, shifting geography, and hidden innards. Get ready to perceive Mercury as more than just a planet. Rather, consider it a mystery situated at the periphery of the Sun. Due to its close orbit, Mercury, the planet with the smallest diameter, completes a round around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. Extreme temperatures can be found on Mercury, with highs of 800 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of nega, 290 degrees Fahrenheit being experienced. With no substantial atmosphere to shield it from meteoroids, its surface is transformed into a mosaic of craters, ridges, and plains overnight. One of the solar system's largest impact craters, the Caloris Basin, is among its most remarkable features. Due to its relatively huge core, Mercury has a magnetic field which is only 1% strong, which accounts for 85% of its radius. When it interacts with the solar wind, its magnetic poles along with a magnetic sphere produce phenomena like X-ray auroras. Because Mercury is so close to the Sun, spacecraft must be able to resist extreme heat and solar radiation. This poses a substantial obstacle to Mercury exploration. Using the gravitational pull of Venus, NASA launched Mariner 10, the first spacecraft to visit Mercury. The mission brought the planet's highly cratered terrain and intricate geologic features to life in close-up photographs for the first time. Large planes and impact craters like those on our moon in the world, depicted in the photos. Unfortunately, 45% of the planet's surface was not fully investigated by the mission. Future study was made possible by the data. The very first spacecraft to orbit Mercury was the MESSENGER mission, launched by NASA in 2004. In order to gather information about the planet's magnetic field and surface composition, the spacecraft completed more than 4,000 revolutions around it. The Bay Colombo mission, a collaboration between the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and the European Space Agency, has found water ice in shadowed craters at Mercury's poles, volcanic plains, and proof of previous tectonic activity. Launched in 2018, the mission seeks to offer extensive information about the planet's history, atmosphere, magnetosphere, and geology. The two primary spacecraft of the mission, Jackson's Mercury Magnetic Orbiter, MIA, and ESA's Mercury Planetary Orbiter, will explore the planet from various angles and provide comprehensive observations of its environment and evolution. The 2018 launched spacecraft Bay Colombo is scheduled to pass Mercury six times before entering orbit in December 2025. In addition to mapping the planet's surface, the mission will examine its composition, magnetic field, magnetosphere, and previous volcanic and tectonic activity. Scientists envision using the data from both orbiters to compare and learn more about the genesis, evolution, and nature of Mercury's enigmatic magnetic field. Ever since its launch in 2018, Bay Colombo has been steadily moving closer to Mercury, gathering preliminary data that sheds light on the planet's intricate geology and ever-changing climate. The mission's thorough mapping of Mercury's surface, which resulted in the finding of several hitherto undiscovered craters, each of which reveals a unique chapter in the stormy history of the planet, was one of its major achievements. Unlike observable terrestrial auroras, X-ray auroras have been observed around Mercury by the MESSENGER mission. The solar wind, a stream of charged particles released by the Sun, interacts with Mercury's magnetic field to produce these auroras. These particles produce X-rays when they strike the planet's surface, producing a weak yet important glow for science. This finding sheds light on Mercury's magnetic field and its interactions with the solar wind in addition to confirming the existence of a magnetosphere. Features like low bait scarps and wrinkle ridges, which are created by the rate of compression within the planet's crust as its core cools and hardens, 
have also been made visible by high-resolution photos. These results unequivocally demonstrate Mercury's continuous geologic activity. Since the planet's birth, compression has caused its radius to shrink by several kilometers, resulting in stress cracks on the surface of Mercury that show up as ridges and cliffs. Bay Colombo has pinpointed multiple locations where this contraction is most pronounced, offering a rare chance to investigate planetary geology in real time. These zones provide information to scientists about the internal structure and thermal evolution of Mercury by revealing not just the planet's cooling history alongside its current state. Similar to our Moon, Mercury has a highly cratered surface that is frequently dotted with fault scars and ridges that show how compressed it was. Where there are less pebbles than on the Moon, there are regions on Mercury's surface that indicate distinct geologic processes. The depressions of Mercury are among its most mysterious features. The Messenger mission was the first to notice them. It was once believed that sublimation, the transformation of solid materials into gas, was the cause of Mercury's troughs. Subsurface volatiles that sublimate and erode the surface to generate sinkholes and bright halos are probably involved in this process. This implies that Mercury still has volatile substances stored just below its surface, even though it is so close to the Sun. This perspective has been drastically altered by recent findings that Mercury's surface has large quantities of sulfur, chlorine, salt, and potassium. The finding of sublimation depressions with a bright interior and halo, as well as a flat bottom, suggests the presence of volatiles below the surface. Our view of Mercury's geologic history and activity is being altered by this ongoing geologic process which implies that the planet is continually losing volatiles. This finding triggers another amazing occurrence on Earth. Because of wind and solar radiation, Mercury has a comet-like sodium tail. This tail, which stretches millions of miles into space, is a sign that volatiles are still being released from the planet's surface. Although it is invisible to the unaided eye, the tail can be found using specialist equipment. The volatile concentration of mercury has been likened to harsh earth settings, as the AMA desert in Chile. High quantities of salts and other volatiles are present in both areas, which support special extremophile species that can survive in harsh environments. According to research, comparable conditions, where salts and other volatiles might form niches for possible microbial life, may exist beneath mercury's surface. Extremophiles in the AMA desert may have similarities to possible habitats on Mercury because they can thrive in extremely salinized and arid environments. Mercury is a planet that might offer the right circumstances for microbiological life because of its volatile and rich subsurface. Through the process of delance, which takes in moisture from the atmosphere, the presence of halides and other salts may cause liquid water to form. Although its exact genesis is unknown, Conventional wisdom indicates that Mercury developed close to its present location. According to recent studies, Mercury might have originated far from the Sun. One popular theory is planetary migration, in which major adjustments in planetary orbits are produced by gravitational forces. This theory is supported by Mercury's huge iron-rich core, which makes up around 85% of its radius and its unique density. According to some scientists, Mercury was formerly a much bigger planet with a thick crust and mantle that was comparable in size to Mars. Mercury's outer layers could have been taken away in a catastrophic collision with another big body, leaving only a thin mantle and dense core. Mercury's high density and high levels of elements like thorium and potassium support the giant impact theory. The planet's geologic features, such as impact craters and basins like the Calaris Basin, align with other celestial bodies' histories. Mercury's history may be part of a larger pattern of planetary evolution in the solar system. The discovery of Beiti, a rare volcanic rock on Mercury, is intriguing due to its magnesium content and low elements. Similar rocks were found in Cyprus, suggesting a common formation process. Mercury's small size and proximity to the Sun make it a dynamic and complex geologic history. Comparing its formation with Earth's allows scientists to understand its past and the processes that have shaped other rocky planets in our solar system. As Bay Colombo approaches its destination, 
scientists are eager to provide detailed maps of Mercury's surface, study its magnetic field, and gain new information about its geologic history. Although the search for life on Mercury is unlikely, the discovery of volatiles and potential subsurface surface environments offer intriguing possibilities. Mercury holds a unique place in planetary science, serving as a key to understanding the history and evolution of terrestrial planets.